Bring me sunshine in your smile. Bring me laughter all the while. <clears throat> oh, can't beat an Oscar for char. Morning pop because only me sure from Happy Days Veg. Just, just something slightly different, different angle. And the reason I'm sitting there, I'm sorry it looks a bit dark. And the reason it looks a bit dark is because uh, I'm in the porch, the entrance to my house, where I've got uh, some bits and bobs, some leaks on the windowsill, percolating along nicely. And the lighting's not very good. Plus, it's a beautiful day outside, slightly cloudy, not much. But, uh, as I say, the reason I'm sitting here is because this is where these leaks are. So I started all my leeks from seed and all my onions and shallots from seed on the 24th of January. Which, if my maths is right, let me just check, 19 days. I think they're all thereabouts. And I just want you to show you how they're progressing. And I, but first, I want to give you an update on the peppers, pepper seeds. Absolute 100% failure. I have numerous pepper seeds that are saved that I wanted to cheat in kitchen towel in a bit of water in the propagator. Nothing happened, they just rotted away. So that I can only presume that that had something to do with the way I prepped and stored the seeds. And I'm upset about that because as it stands now, I've got no uh, red Coro di Toro peppers on the go. Got no seeds, got no peppers. My Cabaneros, my big red, the big peppers, you know, the ones that are the size of these containers, none of them. Nothing. There's one or two little seeds that I have tried to plant, but I'm holding out no hope. I'm calling that a 100% failure, and I don't know 100% why, because some of the seeds were new. I'd soaked some of the seeds overnight in a weak calomol tea solution just to try that method. That made no difference. So I don't, honestly, I don't know. So what I did yesterday was I threw them all away. The containers stunk to high heaven. Threw them all away and I have started chitting, hopefully chitting some more. Uh, and we'll see how they go. If they don't work, <clears throat> I'm just going to buy pepper plants in. But, as you can see, <clears throat> on the subject of leeks, these are the leeks that I sow on uh, the 24th of January. And I've done them, I'm doing an experiment three different ways because I've got, a, I, I watch a lot of new gardeners, new allotments here, and a, a lot of new vegetable growers. And what... I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty details of it just yet, but I'm a bit disheartened with a few of my usual channels. So, but I'll talk about that another day when I'm happier. So, not that I'm not happy today. Hey, hey! First of all, before we go any further, I stayed up most of the night to watch the Super Bowl. Yeah, the Kansas Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers with, in extra time, with... Something like six seconds on the clock, touchdown, bang, job done. So, I don't normally watch this American football. To be quite honest, and I'm going to upset some people here, I find it a bit of a stupid game, but notwithstanding, oh, and I could have done without that bloody Usher and Alicia Keys at half time. Crap. But notwithstanding, well done to uh, anybody who supports the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Well done. So... I was up late, and then I got up early because Adele has gone to uh, the airport today. She's gone to, uh, where's she gone? Germany. Uh, so, I'm home alone for a few days. I'm going to cause riots, honestly. I'm going to go streaking. There's going to be all sorts of things going on now. But I'll be standing, let's get back to the top topic. 
uh, leeks. I sown these three different ways on the 24th of January. And he's saying, sure, how do you do it three different ways? Well, only two different sowing techniques and three different propagation techniques. So, as you can see, I sprinkled some sieved compost with vermiculite in there. Just lightly scatter the seeds. Don't put thousands and thousands of seeds in there, yeah? Give them a bit of room, because you've got to prick these out and pot them on. So, I sown them that way. And then I sowed some in just sieved compost. And they are on a windsill in the other room. I'll, I'll put a picture of them up in a second. But these were started off on heat in the propagator. On the windowsill in the house. As soon as they came through, I took them off heat and I put them on this windowsill. Uh, I haven't got my glasses on, I've got no contacts in. So I can tell you those are muscle butter, but I can't remember the name of these. Uh, Car oh, these are Carantan, Carantan 2, and um, those are muscle butter. So these have come through, and these are three to four inches tall. That one's a bit low on compost today, but notwithstanding. And they are looking healthy as, healthy as, healthy as can be. I also sow in the same compost some onions. These are Alza Craig. I've got some uh, long red Florence, and I've got some Zebruncia lots. Now the Zebruncia lots, I had trouble with these last year. I don't get a very good germination rate. And I don't know what it is. But notwithstanding. So I've got various, these are long, long red florence. I love those. Those are great for cooking. So these are going to need pricking out and potting on. I'll do this this week. So all these were started off on heat, and as soon as they come through, I took them off, and they've been on windowsills, hence the reason I'm sitting here. So the other ones in the back room, I'll put a picture, up, picture of them up there as they are now, 19 days later, compared to these, that have just been in sieved compost, watered in, covered over with a bit of sieved compost, and just left on a, quite a dark windowsill actually, doesn't get much light at all in the back room, and they're just coming through, and they look healthy. And then I've got the same again in the polytunnel, which I haven't checked. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't lifted up the lid on that uh, coal frame in the polytunnel, even though I was in there yesterday. So we'll see if anything's occurring with them. Uh, but it just, I, it, I just want to re-emphasise that Provided you've got a windowsill, you can start your leeks and your onions off without a heated propagator and without any grow lot. Now I've got that big propagation station in my shed that I'm, I don't think I'm going to be using this year. So <clears throat> that's the situation on the pepper seeds and that's the situation on the onion and the leek seeds. Onions and leeks, lovely jubbly. Pepper, 100% disaster. So, I, I, as I say, I've put some more seeds out of chit and we'll see how they go. But really, they need to... Uh, it's still not light. It's still not too late to start your pepper seeds. Don't listen to the, don't listen to the madding crowds. Yeah. Uh, you can still start, start your pepper seeds off today. Uh, if you, and I think only if you're going to be growing them indoors in a, in a greenhouse or a polytunnel. If they're going to be growing outside... It's a bit of a risk, you know, depending on how, how much of a summer we get and depending where you live. But if you're growing them in your polytunnel and in your greenhouse, you can still start your pepper seeds off today because I started some off yesterday. And I am going to the garden centre any minute now. Uh, not to pick up anything garden related, but I might pick up, see what other pepper seeds they've got, but they haven't got a brilliant selection. I'm going there for some other bits and bobs. Uh, for me, engine on my little truck. So I just wanted to bring you up to date with the situation with the uh, leeks, leeks and onions. And the reason they're bent over like that is because I turn them round every day and they, they, they turn around to face the sunlight on the windowsill. Because the particular windowsill these are on, that gets a fair bit of sunlight first thing. So I turn them round every day and they just bend, they just bend back over. 
So that's what I just wanted to say hello, and this is the situation with my leeks and my onion seeds. So there's going to be other bits and bobs of videos about the Happy Days veg truck, rebuilding the engine and all the rest of it. But I didn't want that's that's dragging out now, and I didn't want to bore you with that. But if you want to see any more, there is going to be one more video of that, I think, possibly two. But if you want to have any questions on that, uh, feel free to ask me. So that's it. It's late. I haven't even had any breakfast yet. I've had two cups of tea, so I'm going to have a nice bacon and egg sandwich and another cup of tea, and then I'm going to nip out and then take a few photographs, and we'll uh, we'll see you guys later. So until then, take it easy. Happy days. And don't forget, get a cup of tea. And you've earned it, especially you Kansas City Chief fans. You've earned it. You've been up. Beautiful. I don't know how well you can see because it's a bit dark, but that's over there. That is the Menai Strait. And on the other side of the water, that's the island of Anglesey. Stunning.